I definitely would not want to come into contact with this Allosaurus. This thing, A, is huge, and B, those teeth look like they would just chew straight through me. Nothing, actually everything, to do with the way that it looks in the game. Today I am in Claremont, California, where I have been invited to the Raymond Alf Museum of Paleontology. I'm really excited because as you guys know, I have a hard time pronouncing a lot of these dinosaurs' names, so hopefully I will get some help in my pronunciation and you guys can stop telling me how bad they are, but also, hopefully I will gain a little bit of knowledge. Maybe you'll gain a little bit of knowledge. Today we are going to explore the Allosaurus. I put the word out on Twitter and some of the local museums reached out to me and Gabe Santos of the ALF Museum of Paleontology said, come check out our displays. When I was like, really cool, that's great, I'd love to. What dinosaurs do you have? He's like, we can talk about Allosaurus. And I'm like, Allosaurus, let's do it. Allosaurus is going to be one of the slowest dinosaurs in the game, probably in the bottom three. But because of its speed, being so low, you're going to get a high damage output. I will put a link to the top five damage dinosaurs. Hopefully it goes right here. If not, it'll be over here. But it also has one of the top 10 highest health stats in the game. So this is gonna be a dinosaur that you're going to want to at least have one of between it or Tyrannosaurus Rex, where it's going to be able to deal a lot of damage, although it's not gonna be fast. You're probably gonna be able to knock out at least one dinosaur. Now Gabe, does play Jurassic World Alive. So what I'm interested to know is how close did the developers of the game get to what we expect the real world Allosaurus to be like. First of all, thank you Gabe for inviting me out here. Yeah, I'm, sure. uh, I'm, as you know, as you may know, my followers love to tell me how poorly I pronounce every single dinosaur, but <laughs> Allosaurus is one that I know I get right. It is pretty self-explanatory, but Thank you for inviting me out here today. What I want to know is because you do play Jurassic mm -hmm. World Alive, so you can kind of give us a better understanding into this. How does that look? I think Allosaurus looks pretty good. I think it's a little bit shrink wrapped. Um, what I mean by that is that like it's it's skin and muscles. It's just so close to it that it doesn't look like it has a lot of like meat on it. Um, but other than that, I think it still looks pretty good for an Allosaurus. Okay, and, and as far as this hybrid, Allocinosaurus, was there ever such a thing as an Allocinosaurus? Probably not. <laughs> uh, they're mixing two different groups of dinosaurs, <laughs> like so far apart, I highly doubt, I don't think anything would, would ever existed. <laughs> so what would exist in the time of the Allosaurus? What, what are the, the common dinosaurs that people would know either from the game or just the ones that everybody knows. So Allosaurus is actually one of the few dinosaurs that's from the Jurassic time period. A lot of the major dinosaurs we see in the movie are from the Cretaceous, which is from 65 million years ago. Um, one of the really cool dinosaurs that I love to have in my team for Jurassic World Alive that is actually from the Jurassic is Stegosaurus. So now, something that I want to ask you is, in the About This Creature, it says the Allosaurus is a highly active hunter using its jaw-like hatchet to slash at prey. A, is that true? And B, because this is a habitat zone two, night only spawn, but it also spawns at restaurants, <laughs> why do you think they chose those two spawns to go with the description of this creature? I'll stick with the first one first. <laughs> I'll think about the other question in a little bit. Um, well, so it's, I think that's pretty accurate for Allosaurus. Um, some recent studies about how Allosaurus came out saying that uh, Allosaurus had a very kind of different skull than T-Rex, and its skull is a little bit wider in the back, which allowed for more uh, muscle attachments for its neck. And so what some science paleontologists are suggesting is that they probably had this really cool way that they could open their mouth 
really wide and use their powerful neck muscles like a hatchet so they could open it and have their serrated teeth and come down really hard and slash at prey and not use powerful muscles like T-Rex and to chomp on their prey. So that's probably where that came from. Um, and so they did, yeah, there was research about two years ago, I think, that was looking at the way that the, T or the Allosaurus could open its mouth in like two different, two different uh, angles and the, the att attachments of its neck muscles. I've actually done a little research on this, but I know that they think velociraptors or raptors in general were typically night hunters or that they could have been night hunters because of the orbital sockets mm -hmm. and, and nocturnal animals that we have today. Is there anything in the Allosaurus that would give off that indication that it was uh, it hunted at night? You know, I'm not really sure about Allosaurus. I know from what I would say is that it's, it's a very large predator. Um, it probably didn't need to wait till nighttime and probably because of the animals it was hunting, which are probably larger herbivores, um, it probably would need to hunt during the day because that's when they're active. So I don't know, I don't think it had many adaptations for it to be a, a night hunter. And I would, I would find that kind of weird a little bit, to me at least, if it would be more of a night hunter to have this very large predatory dinosaur waiting around at night to pick off small little creatures. Okay, so we were talking about beforehand, before this, we were talking about the speed rating of 104 and I mentioned that it is one of the slowest, I think 102 is, or 101 is actually the slowest, which is an Apatosaurus. And then T-Rex at 102 is slower than this 104. But you say that Allosaurus was actually a very, like indications are that Allosaurus was probably a rather fast dinosaur. Is, is that accurate? Yeah, I think Allosaurus was actually more, is an active hunter. Um, and so for it to be able to hunt its prey and catch up to it, it had to have been pretty fast. And you know, if we look at the body shape of it, it's a little bit more slender than a T-Rex. So that probably means that it was at least faster than T-Rex and needed to be able to catch up with the animals it was hunting. And so finally, in the game Jurassic World Alive, Allosaurus takes out a lot of heavy armored dinosaurs, but it's very susceptible to being knocked out by the raptors, which have a lot of speed. What were Allosaurus's main threats? Probably, what were, probably what were the main threats in real life? Probably it would be, first of all, other predators that it would have to fight off, um, or maybe other Allosaurus that it would have to fight off for, itself, to, for food and stuff like that. And I think it's probably its biggest threat to itself would be the dinosaurs it was hunting, because you know we have stegosaurs out right at the same time, and you have an allosaurus running towards one to try to attack, and they have those big thagomizers, the spikes on the back of its tail. Right. So let's say you're running at it, and all of a sudden a tail comes out of nowhere and slashes you, or punctures a lung, or you know breaks a leg and punctures through one of your backbones or whatever, or even right. punctures your skull. Right. Probably attacking a dinosaur would be its biggest threat to itself because a lot of the other dinosaurs was hunting would have fought back. <laughs> they, even then they didn't lay over and, and just let you eat. <laughs> <laughs> awesome man, I appreciate you having me out. Yeah, no problem. Um, you know, this, this has been very, very educational for me as far as Parasauralophus, I actually say right, which is shocking. I, I'm not gonna get any others right, so don't worry about that. You can continue to hammer me. But an expert said, that I got it right. And then to know that Allosaurus has a lot of truth or fact behind the dinosaurs makes me think that there's probably a lot of dinosaurs in this game that are close to reality. And that, that's, that's actually pretty cool that to know that you're playing a game that has not just pure speculation behind it, but that there are actually some facts behind it is, is actually kind of cool. So how long have you been playing Jurassic World Alive? Uh, when did it come out? Because <laughs> I got um, it like the day it was announced. I think. Like, Five weeks ago. Yeah. Five, so, I, so okay. So global it, launch. Yeah, I was playing it right when it launched because, as a paleontologist, you find a <laughs> game that lets you find dinosaurs around your own museum and then fight them. I kind of <laughs> had to get it. And so, what what does your team look like? Who who's your who are your favorite? Let's see who I have right now. Um, I haven't been able to play as much as I would have liked recently, just because I've been doing a lot of traveling for the museum, um, finding actual dinosaurs. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, that didn't he's mean to doing, sound like a big head. He's doing though. real world DNA hunting, although he's not actually gathering DNA. I did learn that DNA is very fragile, so the concept of a Jurassic world is, is not a real concept. It is strictly for Hollywood, which is actually reassuring to know because after seeing the size of some of these things and, and this, there's a, a, a bird like that is the size of a giraffe. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want any part of that. But who do we have on our team? Okay, over so here? right now I have my ankylosaur, my ankylosaurus. It's level 12, which was like the only epic dinosaur I have so far. I've got my Dilophosaurus, a Dimetrodon, which is actually not a dinosaur. This guy came before the dinosaur, before any dinosaurs existed, and it's actually more closely related to mammals than it is to dinosaurs, but it's still a reptile. Um, I have Velociraptor, which is kind of like my trump card. Um, I recently just got Megalosaurus um, when I was in Utah. Um, Spinosaurus, I have Ankylos or Euplocephalus, and a Triceratops Gen 2. And those are pr my pretty much go-to. I've done pretty well with them, especially with my Ankylosaur and their like, beating people up and in its instant defense thing, which if I were fighting against one, I would really hate. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Even real world people who play with dinosaurs for a living play Jurassic World Alive. That's all I have for today's installment. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope you've learned something. I know that I definitely learned something. And if you are like me and you don't necessarily know a whole lot about dinosaurs outside of what Hollywood tells you or maybe what you learned as a third grader, go out to your nearest museum, your natural science and museum, and, and take a minute to walk through that you'll find that the range of, of time that these dinosaurs, it was what, like a hundred million years from when Stegosaurus until T-Rex actually roamed. And, and for me, dinosaurs were all together at the same time. And that's just not true. So go out there, visit those museums. It's hot. Summer is really hot. It, all museums are indoor unless you are outside actually digging up dinosaur bones it's a good way to beat the heat. And typically they're pretty cost effective as far as the entertainment goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Come back again tomorrow because we will have another video. I'm going to break this up into two different videos. So we'll do Parasaurolophus, maybe not tomorrow because we do have spawn information that I want to go over. So we may save that one for the weekend, but we do have information that is actually really cool. We're going to talk to somebody who helped actually dig up a baby Parasaurolophus. Um, in the real world. So check that out later this week and until next time guys.